What's that? It appears to be a checkpoint. This is my fault. The Vanguard's doing this to catch me. We'll have to find another way around. But I'm sure they'll be checking everywhere. Leave this to me. Um... What's that? It's an Iron Maiden. Marta, please get inside. It's the same thing Dex has. Why do you have one of these? This is a good luck charm from Lezareno Mystic Supply, a subsidiary of the Lezareno Company. I make charms myself, and Lezareno Mystic Supply wanted to collaborate. They sent me this as a sample. Dex said he got that thing by mail order. Just out of curiosity, when you say good luck charms, what sort of effects are we talking about? They say that if you put a hair from someone you love inside here, 765 days later, you'll find happiness together. Perseia, is there someone you have in mind? That is a secret. But why do you have this Iron Maiden with you? I brought it to Altamira so I could return their sample. But it was impossible with the city under Vanguard control, so I hid it in the bushes here. I can hardly believe I'm saying this, but Marta, maybe you should get inside this thing. What? But they'll know I'm in there the second they open the lid! It'll be okay. Alright. Um, can I help you carry that? I'm fine. Let's go. We live in Ozette. May we pass? What's that you've got with you? This is my Iron Maiden. It's a good luck charm. Let's see what's inside, then. Uh, no, you... You'll be cursed. Huh? A terrible curse will befall anyone who opens this Iron Maiden before it grants its wish. First, you'll experience stomach-churning sickness and diarrhea for 77 straight hours. Then, for the following 777 days, the King of Demons will appear and stick his finger up your nose every single day. But if you're alright with that, go ahead and open it and be cursed. <laughs> you think I'd fall for that? I understand. Please, the curse is all yours. I don't mind. <sighs> Go ahead. No, that's okay. Go on through. All right, then. That was most impressive, Prasea. I was so worried he was going to open it. My heart's still racing. This Iron Maiden actually has an internal lid. To anyone who opens it normally, it will appear empty. Really? I had no idea. A dwarf named Altessa lives up ahead. We can take refuge in his house. So, Prasea, what other sorts of good luck charms have you come up with? Soulmate shackles? Hair today, hair tomorrow tonic, fess up ferns, the marry me wand. Hey, Aunt Flora had one of those. Anything else? An outfit that, despite having a bare midriff, never allows your skin to get cold and also protects against enemy attacks. I call it the Lonnie Kyle. Oh, I've heard of that. That was a big hit, but then it faded fast, right? It was a tough sell. Was that everything? There was a mask that hid your face without actually hiding it, but still mysteriously prevented anyone from realizing your real identity. I called it the Judas Mask. Haven't heard of that one. It was stolen while still in development, and the project had to be called off. It was my proudest achievement. A real loss. You came up with all that stuff? You're incredible!
So you're not from Altamira, right? No, I'm from Ozette. Where exactly is that? It's just on the other side of the Garakia Forest, but only a handful of people live there now. Why's that? The town was destroyed once. The land was never considered very desirable, and the village had a reputation for opposing the Church of Martel, so people have been reluctant to move back. That's terrible. However, my friends are helping out. I know the village will recover someday. Right now, it's in no state for visitors, but I'll give you a tour someday. Yeah, I'd like that. I thought my heart was gonna jump right out of my chest when we were going past that checkpoint. On the other hand, you were so calm, Prisea. You've got a real poker face. That's not true. My heart was pounding like mad as well. Really? Yes. It was going waka waka waka, and my palms were sweating like mad. Your heart was going waka waka waka? Yes, waka waka waka. Waka waka waka? Waka waka waka. That's not how it looked to me. Waka waka waka. Are you hungry? Yeah, a little. Then I'll cook something up. H hold on, why are you sharpening your axe? I don't have a proper cooking knife, so I thought I'd use this instead. But you've got a pocket knife, right? That's for carving wood. Yeah, but it's still better than the axe you chop up monsters with. This is Altessa's house. So what's Altessa like? He's a dwarf, right? Is he like Dirk? You've met Dirk? Uh, yeah, I have. You see... So that's how you ended up with Sheena. But I wonder what Lloyd is trying to accomplish all by himself. It worries me. <sighs> Marta, are you tired? Uh, no, not at all. I'm fine. You sure? Let's head in and meet Altessa. Mr. Fairy? Are you referring to me? I am not a fairy. I am a centurion. Okay. Mr. Tenaby? Mr. Tenaby? Well, that's new. Whoa! Wh wh what are you doing? Why are you grabbing my leg? You have no paw pads. Paw pads? Shall I make some? Wow. Poke, 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 poke. Th that tickles. Stop. I, I beg you. I can't take any more. <laughs> <laughs> 